Hello, my name is Carl and I'm from Team H290W. Today I'll be explaining how you can use the Touch ID to start multiple routes in one code. So first we need to declare a my block called wait for touch ID. Then we need it the touch ID itself to light up green. After that, we need a wait until block. Then inside the wait until we need a when touch ID is pressed. After that, we have to put in a set the color to red. Once we do that, we can actually use it. So we need one of those one started blocks. After that, we can use a wait for touch ID. And then we'll activate route one. Wait for touch ID again, route two. Wait for touch ID and route three. This loop can go on forever. So it's the logic works like when the when started starts, it enters a wait for touch ID. And then inside the wait for touch ID, we set it to green because we this way we know it's ready to be pressed and activated. And then we'll wait until the touch ID is actually pressed. And so once it's pressed, it'll turn red. Is that meaning that it's already started and it's not ready to be activated. Once the wait until block, wait until block is executed and turns red, it'll execute route one because wait for touch ID is finished. Route two and route three. Thank you for watching.